Hello, hello, hello. My name is Hector. Welcome back to Compact Claustrophobia. How is everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I've done a little bit of uh, clearing up in here and taken away a lot of the stuff that I wasn't really using anymore. Uh, oh, why, are we, why is that going in there? I don't. Why is that going in there? I don't understand. That was all a bit weird because that shouldn't have anything in. No, it doesn't. Um, so I'm just getting. I'm using a tin pickaxe and some bronze pickaxes to get some more copper and lead because we're going to need quite a bit of it. And I should probably put that stuff in one of these caches. I haven't yet. Um, because I I made I made there we go. I made two white elevators and uh, and this is the next bit. And look at it. So fusion core, we need a lot of stuff and like elite plating, which I haven't really ever done, but that's fine. That's like all of that is doable. That's okay. Um, but we need the smallest possible fusion reactors, just able to fit within nine by nine by nine. A single electromagnet requires two hundred RF per tick. A single one, we need sixty four. Uh, and a lot of these, basically, a lot of copper uh, and a lot of um, tough alloy. Uh, and lead, basically. So I thought, you know what, I need some of that. We need some more tough alloy stuff, which is like lithium and boron and stuff like that. So I thought, I thought in my infinite wisdom that um, we should probably make ourselves a hard carbon pickaxe and we need diamonds for that. So since we got the last, um, the arc furnace set up last um Last episode, uh, I made a bunch. I made a bunch with all the hopstitute that we got. Look at that. So, um, I think we're going to go... We're going to try and go here. It's been a while since I've done this. So, a stack... Um, a stack and what? How much is that? Well, quite a bit. There we go. Um, hopefully, we should be good. We are good. How? All right, I've got two already. I've got two already. Twelve. That's not bad. Not bad. I mean, not brilliant. It's got to be said. That was not brilliant. Um, but it was not bad. So, with that, we're going to do like a few other little things. Um, one of the things, we're going to make an enchantment table because I feel like we should probably do that um, at some stage. I don't know if the diamond stiffened mesh is like useful. Uh, we can like stuff like gravel. So we could get gold, iron, nickel uranium and platinum but i don't think we can i oh, don't think we really need that what's that that's gold bit of silver um that i mean that's all right but we yeah crushed iron right with lead but i don't think this is very useful um i don't think it is we could yeah i did that's not very useful okay um so hard carbon, that's the stuff that I need to, to make. And I think, what is it with? Graphite dust. So that's coal. We can do that. We can make that happen. That ain't too bad. So I'm going to make some of that for us to get lithium and do that. I think we're also going to do the enchanting table because I know that is a quest. And what have I not got? I've not got a book. Can I even make a book? I have no idea. I can do, I can definitely do that. Ah, um, we need the leatherette stuff, don't we? Um pressed off there we go so we need i need to make some more of that that's like all the poop again i don't know if there's like a good way of making poop yet like you know i know obviously the stuff like that but i got that it doesn't look like it sewage to that but i don't think there's a good way of making sewage really that is you know nice and easy uh, it would be nice, but it poop keeps going back, man. It keeps coming back. The poo keeps returning. Can't get rid of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, more lead, more copper, and hopefully some hard carbon in here at some point. And, yeah, then we're going to try. So if we look at the rest of this, there we go. And you can see it leads. this leads basically to glowstone, and it leads to the end. Like, going to the end, which is kind of cool. Um... Yeah, I want to go to the end because that seems like fun. That seems like fun. Uh, and that leads on to, you know, diamonds and stuff like that. Ooh, what's this? Uh, ah, dynamics of integration. Okay, not yet. Um, but we need we need this first, basically, because I do believe that this gives us, uh, if we look at uses, fusion reactor. I've never done fusion reactor from nuclear craft, so this is going to be interesting. One of the things it gives is the uh, neutron fluid, which I think is one of the things that we need, basically, to to do stuff with 
We, we need it to do things. Uh, yeah, there we go. We need that neutron fluid and destabilized redstone to get energized glowstone. Uh, and molten potassium hydroxide. Of course. Naturally. No. Of course, of, of course that's what we get. I don't, I don't know what we can use with that. Uh, molten potassium water. Oxygen gas and, and nothing. Chemical reactor. Ethylene. Okay. Well, I've no idea. I've no idea. So, okay. So that's what we're going to try and do today. I don't know if we're going to get there, man. There's a lot of stuff. But yeah, first leather to get an enchantment table. And then we're going to see what else we can do. Look at this. I have an enchantment table. Uh, and I've been enchanting things just to sort of see. Uh, I've got the hard carbon pickaxe. So let's do that. Look at this. So... I was a bit worried that we would still have to have, you know, the normal vanilla levels. We do not. Inside, don't want that. Soulbound, kind of interesting. But I've got him breaking one there. Um, will take us, what, level two, but three levels. And there we go. Oh, just about, yeah. There we go. Unbreaking. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, well, I actually only took off two levels. Um, so that's... I've also put it on the dash pickaxe because we don't have a lot of stuff there. But that's kind of cool, man. That's kind of cool. Also need to take that away um, because I do. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. So we've got, yeah, we've got that. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if that's going to, how much that is going to kind of um, help us going forward. But you would think a fair bit, I would imagine. So I just thought I'd show you that. So, um, and I've just been looking around at other things that we sort of still need to do. Um, so that's that one and that one that I've just done. There's the whole, um, everything to start your programming journey. And it's a bit weird because I don't, I know this is here, but I, I'm sort of loath to start it because I don't know what I can do with any of this. Um, Something you might make something like, but with much more. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about. Like, I'm not a programmer. Um, I only know a little, little, little bit, and I know nothing of Lua, which is the the language that all of this is done in. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know why this is like a thing. Um, I sort of wish I knew maybe why that was a thing. And uh, we haven't done this yet. I am starting to think maybe we should do that. Uh, the proxy, I've not really had uh, a big use for. We could maybe do that, but that's like it. Oh, and um, and this, Nuclear Craft Simulator. This is a link to a tool that can help you build reactors. So that's kind of cool, actually. Um, that would probably be a good thing to check out at some point so that we could make a better reactor and uh, have a little bit more power, perhaps. But um, so far, we're not too bad. So really... Really, really, it's this and that that are the, you know, the stumbling blocks and that I'm so scared of the high impact compactor, but I know we need all of this first. So, and there is uh, currently in 1.3.3.1, I think, this is the version of combat claustrophobia. There's a bit of an issue in um, the glitched giant machines so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna wait uh, until the next update but just so you know there's a bit of an issue with that so that's why i'm not really too bothered with doing that right now but also i know that's like that's like a thing we can't do yet so we're going to be concentrating on the power of the sun uh, and i am a little bit scared of all of this i've got to say i'm a little bit i'm a little bit nervous i'm a little bit nervous because i yeah I also, uh, yeah, I need I need so much more steel. Is Have we got a better way of making steel? Oh, TNT, okay. Um, but success chance, 75. Uh, pulverizer, steel. Is this still the best way of making steel? Arc furnace, we can do that. Yeah, so really, induction smelter and the old pulverized charcoal to that. That is the best way. And that's why I think maybe we should do the old tree farm. Maybe I'm just going to have to, you know, I'm just going to have to buck up and do it, perhaps, because we're starting to need a lot of charcoal. So, yeah, I believe I have it. And this took a little bit of effort, man. I've got to say, it, I whoa, I had to, had to do a little bit of finagling and figuring stuff out. But I believe but this does work. It does work. I've got a vacuum later there. Look at that. I'm, I am getting wood. I am getting wood. Um... So basically, these need to go into like that direction, facing that. And this has the saplings. This would have the phytogrow. It's I, I've actually uh, I kind of used it all in doing that. And 
um, in my, I don't know, th this seems to be a better, the, the auto clickers need to be a little bit away, it seems, otherwise it doesn't seem to grow as much, basically. Uh, and I have put it in the corner here. So this is, you know, this has been making the cubic boron nitrate. Uh, so yeah, th that is, this is my little uh, obsidian maker that was just there to get into the arc furnace. Um, but this basically works and the way it works, I've got, I keep, I keep pooing, but just to, I've been testing it just by doing that. Now you can see it does leave some oak wood here and there because I, I guess I could put another auto clicker uh, at the top there. Uh, I, I think I could do that. Maybe uh, what I should also do is put like a, um, a uh, what's it called? A slab like at the top so that it doesn't grow into a big one. But actually I do believe that this, it still, it still grows. Oaks happen still grow like this, but I don't know if they're harder to force to grow, you know, if that makes sense. So this is, this is a bit of a laborious kind of thing. Obviously we can make this faster, but we need fighter grow or anything or poo. And there we go. Pooing, pooing more. Can we do the, I did, I did poo then. I heard it. There we go. Uh, ooh. Right click on dirt to turn it in for fertile dirt. You know what? I kind of forgot about the fertile dirt stuff. I've got to say, I've completely forgotten about that. Um, come on, do actually, you know what? Let's just take that. Oh, ooh, there we go. Um, as soon as that had gone, maybe I should add another auto clicker. There we go. And you can see uh, it is working. It is doing its thing. So one by one, it will, there you go. It will do its thing. Are you going to do your thing? Are you going to do your thing? Are you going to do your thing? Go on. Come on. Go on, little Spaxel Ho. You can do it. Is that? Yeah, it's it's on it's on left. It's on that. Why are you not doing it? Why are you being so shy? Why, why, why? I don't know. But we are getting wood, basically. That is the long and short of it. Um, and there is now. Now I've seen. I've seen that we can get coal. So basically... Basically, I, I've been making like the tiny coal that we get from the Desh pickaxe into coal. And I noticed now that there is actually a way we can use the pyrolytic conversion um, that I'd sort of not noticed because there was no real good way of getting coal. But there sort of, it's not a good way, but it is a way. And that's using uh, the pressurizer and then the manufacturer. So let, hang on, let's see. Where are you? No, let's... Come on, come on. There is, there is a way where, there we go. Using the pressurizer from nuclear craft. So it turns graphite dust into coal. We can make graphite dust in the manufacturing from pulverized charcoal. Look at that. So that is a, that is a way of getting coal and thus basically making coal coke a little bit quicker, which is nicer. I don't know why you're not getting that one. Is it because there's other stuff around? It's really weird. I don't know. It, this seems to work for like a little bit of time and then it stops working. Um, oh, and there's one there. Man. Okay, I'm going to put a slab up here and see if that just makes my life a little bit better. Okay, so I've been I've been sort of busy uh, working my way towards all of the fusion electromagnets. And whilst I was waiting for like some ferro... Well, tough alloy stuff uh, to make. I thought, you know what, let's get, let's have a little look at the fusion, was it? No, the fusion core. Um, so I've got like most of it. Um, I think the only thing, what, the chassis, which is actually not that hard, although I don't have, what, I, what do I not have? Steel right now, but I, I can make some, and I think I am making some, in fact. Um, so I, I was looking at these elite platings, and I've got the DU plating already. That is just advanced plating, and then some of that, not too bad. And then we need Crystal Binder. We need Crystal Binder. What is Crystal Binder? Well, <laughs> Crystal Binder is crushed obsidian. Sure, cool, no problem. Magnesium, sure, no problem. We have that. Crushed rhodochrosite, um, which is basically if we put uh, granite in the rock crusher. So that's actually not too bad. We might have to get a bit more granite, but that is doable. Our, uh, our rock crusher is right there. No you know, no big whoop. Now, the last thing, calcium sulfate. What is that? I cried. 
uh, and then I cr- and then I literally cried. Um, so calcium sulfate we get from calcium sulfate solution. So there's no you can see there's no other way, no other way of getting that. That's the only kind of that's the only thing. How do we make calcium sulfate solution? Well, chemical reactors are the thing. Um, fluoride to water and sulfuric acid. So and that makes hydrofluoric acid acid and calcium sulfate solution. Fluoride water is um, crushed fluoride and water, which is um, diorite. Okay. Uh, and then sulfuric acid is water and sulfur trioxide, which is basically sulfur dioxide and oxygen. And that is basically molten sulfur and oxygen gas. That is ridiculous. That's like a ridiculous amount of stuff for one thing for one thing for like a quarter of one thing basically that's a ridiculous amount of stuff what else is it used in uh, calcium sulfate is it literally just it is literally just that is the only thing it is used for i feel that's that i feel that's a little bit ridiculous i've got to say like you know, like, uh, so far, some people have said that this pack is a little bit grindy. And there is, there is a, a certain amount of grind to it, I will admit. But I, personally, I don't like grind. I don't like grind. And I've actually not found it too bad uh, so far. Generally, whenever it gets, like, a little bit bad, usually there's, like, a way around it. So, for instance, uh, we've got the tree farm up and running. That is doing its thing. And now... I spent some time doing this. So well, we'll come back to the calcium sulfate solution in a sec. Uh, a redstone furnace, manufactory, manufactory, pressurizer back to redstone furnace with, with the pyrolytic conversion. So let us do that. So this is what happens, basically. Um, that turns into charcoal. That turns into... Um, are you doing it? There we go. Pulverized charcoal, which turns into graphite dust, which turns into coal. Come on. There we go. Coal, which then turns into coal coke. Um, Wow, that is slow. I might need to have to upgrade that one again. Um, So that's actually coal coke now. I feel like a lot better. And had I known this uh, last episode when I made the arc reactor, I would have felt a lot better better about it but um I, I suppose i didn't really see uh, that we could cook, get coal that way it was maybe a little bit hidden um and that's fine that's fine but i just i don't see a way around getting this this one bit of calcium sulfate and having to make like another what five chemical reactors and so much stuff some of of this stuff that we just don't need just to make like just to make that. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm I'm wondering whether we can corrupt some of this, basically. So we're not really using this anymore. Uh, how much have I got? I've got 44 of the stuff. Um, could we... Like, we've already done one of these chemical reactors. We've got, like, four or five chemical reactors there. Could we maybe... Could we maybe kind of use up some of this and get get that i think maybe like i feel like that could be a thing that we could do um because i don't know if we're going to use much more of this stuff because obviously uh we use this no uh, to get the dash which we are using currently no oh man come on uh we are using currently Oh man, can I? Can I? Can I? Uses? Yeah, there it is. Scavenge. Um, to get the hopstitute to get more tiny diamonds, basically. But obviously, the the kind of you know, the the hope is to not have to do that anymore, uh, and make and make that. And I'm oh man, I'm so scared of that of the high impact thing. Um, but there's no way around that. So I just. I'm kind of, I've, I've hit a bit of a wall today, I think. I was doing all right, made the tree farm, you know, made made this. We're getting cold cocoa now. That is fine. But uh, calcium sulfate, calcium sulfate might have broken me. Uh, I think for the first time in this one pack, I'm feeling like, oh, man, that's just like a lot more machines for one little thing. Um, so we're going to, we might, we, I think we're going to finish the episode 
there today because I'm running out of time. I've, I've spent a lot of time today actually just kind of making little things better, setting up the tree farm that I think is actually not that great, if I'm honest. I think dark oak is way better, like a lot quicker. That's just a lot quicker. And the cold coke thing is great, though. I think that was time worth doing. But those are just my thoughts. Um, hopefully you're still enjoying the series. I know this maybe, you know, last couple, uh, we've, we've slowed to halt, but it's kind of getting to that part of the mod pack where things are getting bigger and things just take more time to, to make and do because it's, you know, it's exponential. That's sort of how a lot of mod packs go. But I want to get out. I want to get out at least to the end, man. I just want to see some outside somewhere, you know, I just, Come on, I can I can do that. I can do that. So that's what we're going to do. So thank you so much for watching. I've been Actor. This has been Compact Claustrophobia. Do the liking, commenting, subscribing thing if you fancy. And I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>